Welcome back to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris, and today I've got a special car for you. 2002 Camaro SS. What makes the SS special is the force induction hood, suspension, upgraded axles, and a few other special things that we'll get to in just a minute. But as we start up front here, the front fascia here is in good condition. There's no major rock chips or anything. Your headlights are in excellent condition. You have some really nice fog lights here. As we move down the side of the car here, you've got your classic SS wheels, which is also part of the SS package. You have your SS badging as well. The fender is in really good condition. The paint on this car to be black is in really good condition and it's original paint. So it's all there, really nice. As we work on down the side of the car, all your gaps here look really good, which a common issue on these cars is people jack them up in the wrong place and it'll mess up this fender. This one does not have that issue. Overall, this car is really, really nice. This is not a T-top car. This is a solid roof, uh, fixed roof coupe. So one benefit to that is it's, it's not as heavy, but you do not get the T-tops. But overall, it's in really good condition. You don't have the uh, paint bubbling on this one here where you get from the glue from GM. Uh, GM used a certain type of glue on these cell panels here that would emit a gas and cause the paint to bubble up. This car has been fixed, so there's no issues with that. Um, as we work back here, once again, you got the SS wheels, good, nice tires on there. The paint on this car is just absolutely beautiful. Um, one of the other special things you get with the SS package is this rear spoiler here. Gives you a little bit better uh, arrow and gives you an aggressive look. Back here on the bumper, looks really, really clean, super nice, no major flaws or anything. You have your SS badging here as well on the back. And this car also comes with the SS exhaust, another perk to the SS. So one really cool thing with the SS is it's sent off to a company called SLP, and they were the ones that did all the modifications to this car. It was about 20 miles from the GM plant that made the Camaros. They were shipped over there to have all this stuff done to it. These are super cool cars, and they're very good performers. The hatch still works. Super clean back here. Doesn't look like there's been anything sat back here. All in really, really good condition. You do have your lid here to cover up any groceries or Christmas presents or anything you might have there in the back that you want to keep a secret. Um, but overall, these cars are great cars. Um, they perform very well and they're fast too. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the engine. All right, guys, we're under the hood of the 2002 Camaro. Overall, just a really clean engine bay. This beautiful paint underneath this, uh, this forced induction hood here. Uh, this is an LS1 power plant. This is the first generation of the LS motor. This was originally a 325 horsepower motor, but with the upgrades of the airbox and the upgraded exhaust, it bumped the horsepower to 345. Overall, a really cool car. I'm a big fan of these F bodies, and the, you just can't beat the package with the LS1 in there. But overall, super clean under here. Everything was like it was from the factory. No modifications or anything like that. So if you're looking for one that's original, this is the car for sure. Or even if you're looking for a clean one to do some modifications to, this is a good one to start with. But overall, just a really, really nice car. And like I said, this is one of my favorites. But with that being said, let's go ahead and do a cold start and move to the interior. All right, guys, we're in the 35th anniversary Camaro here. Beautiful black and tan interior. This car is like brand new inside here. Um, one of the things that these cars struggle with is the plastics in here. Uh, the top dash pad is notorious for cracking. Um, this one is showing no cracks at all. The dash is in beautiful shape. You can definitely tell this car has been garage kept and very well taken care of over the years. You still got the factory radio. You've got your 35th anniversary plaque here as well. Uh, steering wheel is in good condition. I'll tell you another thing that's a common issue with these cars where people get in and out of them, they're always grabbing on the steering wheel. So the 
the column will be loose. This one is nice and tight still. So overall, this car is checks all the boxes for a nice Camaro. This one is absolutely beautiful. You do have power seat, you have power windows, power locks. So automatic transmission, just an overall beautiful car. Headliner's in great condition. AC blows ice cold and this monsoon radio sounds amazing. So with that being said, guys, we'll go ahead and throw it up on the lift and show you underneath it. All right, guys, we're underneath this beautiful 2002 Camaro. We'll start up front like we always do. Your core support here is nice and clean. There's no signs of any damage. Even the front splitter here is in good condition. There's a little bit of scrapage, but that's, come, that's common when you're pulling into steep inclines. But overall, it's not damaged in any major way or anything like that. As we get to the radiator, you have two giant oversized electric fans here to keep the car nice and cool. One of the other key features to the SS package is the extra large sway bar and the Bilstein struts. You'll, you'll get that as well with the SS package for handling performance. Um, as we look at the cross member here, it's nice and clean, no sign of damage or scraping. The oil pan is nice and clean. I don't see any signs of any kind of oil leaks or transmission leaks, which is definitely a good sign. Um, another thing to note is you do have the uh, factory cats on here. So this car is emission friendly and it also has the original chalk mark on there from the factory and there's a few other places that i've seen the original chalk marks on this car which is a good sign it shows that this car more than likely has not seen the rain very often another thing that i had mentioned earlier in the video was about the fenders the fender gaps being good a lot of people will jack these cars up by these uh these uh pinch welds here where the fender bolts up to and that's not where you want to jack the car up you actually want to jack it up here from the frame um, so this one is in really good condition, which shows that it has not been jacked up from there. As we work our way back here, once again, tail shaft is nice and dry, which is a good sign. Shows that there's no bad seal back there. The exhaust is all in really good condition. I mean, look how clean these, uh, these floor pans are. I mean, other than just a little bit of dust on them, they're super clean and good condition. As we walk back through here, Justin will take a look at the aluminum drop shaft. It's all in really, really good condition. The rear end is also in really good condition. You get a 10 bolt rear end, it's seven and a half inch, 10 bolt rear end. It's in really good condition. I don't see any signs of uh, leakage or anything like that. It looks really, really clean. Um, and then on out the back here, you got your dual exhaust. You also have your Bilstein shocks as well. Um, and you also get the rear sway bar as well. But with that being said, guys, how about we go take this thing for a drive and show what this thing can do? All right, guys, we're in the 2002 Camaro SS and these are just, awesome awesome cars um, they, they're great performance right out of the box one benefit to these cars they were already they came from the factory with an ls so there's no need to swap or do anything like that so it, you basically get a car right out of the box that is um, very performance oriented and is a great driving car and it's got plenty and plenty of power as we'll demonstrate here Woo! man this thing is a lot of fun man these are just really, really good cars all around. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of the F-Body Camaro. Um, some of the cool features that you do have is you have a traction control here, which I just realized was off. That's why we were spinning a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put that back on. You do have a fog, fog light switch here. So you do have fog lights. Uh, you got a really nice radio here with the monsoon sound system. Cold AC, good heat, good gauges here to keep uh, a check on the engine and everything that's going on and man the steering on this car is really tight man you really get a sports car steering on this car it's not loose it's nice and tight i like a car that handles nice and tight but overall this is just a really really nice car we'll go ahead and get on it one more time here super fast car guys super fast this is an awesome car for the money you just can't beat it I mean, you can go and buy a third gen Camaro and you can probably get one a lot cheaper, but you're not going to have all the amenities that this car has as far as the LS already in here. Like I said, you don't have to worry about swapping it and all the headaches that come with that. You've got nice cold AC, modern drive train here with overdrive. Overall, just a really, really cool car. And this car is a 35th anniversary, so it is a collectible and will only increase in value. But with that being said, guys, if you're interested in this car, we can put this in your driveway. We offer financing, shipping, all the things that are needed to get this thing in your driveway, and it's hassle-free. So don't hesitate to give us a call at 770-738-7111.
or you can go to our website at collectiblemotorcaroflanta.com. We've got tons of pictures on this car. This video will be on the website as well. But with that being said, guys, don't hesitate on this car because we do not see it lasting long, as nice as it is. Uh, but if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.